morning everyone it is Tuesday I am ready for work um, but I don't have to be there till 9 it's only 8 o'clock right now so I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit longer probably scroll on social media and then I'll leave but then I decided to talk to you guys so anyway if you guys remember before and it happened a few times the dryer that I have so it's a huge it's a nice dryer but this started maybe like four years ago so maybe once a year my dryer will go out and when I say go out it'll still spin but the heating element that part that heats up the clothes that part will go out so I always just get someone to fix it it's like $75 for the part and then I got to pay the guy to fix it whatever okay so I've been doing that continuously and when it happened before, I thought, you know, oh, I'll just get another dryer. But no, I ended up fixing it. Well, it went out again. And it's like, you know what? This is ridiculous, Michelle. Just get a dryer. Get a dryer. Just get a dryer, girl. Quit trying to get parts that, you know, in a year or six months, it's going to break again. And then you're spending all this money. Might as well invest it in a dryer. Not that it can't happen to a dr another dryer, but this dryer is pretty old. So... After work today, Anna and I, we are going to go Lowe's, Home Depot. Um, there's a couple of just like random appliance stores here in town. And then where else? R.C. Wiley, R.C. Willie. I think it's R.C. Willie. I'm going to go there. And then Sears. I really think I'm going to find one, a reasonable price one at Sears because that's where I got my washer. And... I do want like a big, huge, fancy washer and dryer, but that's not in the budget right now. So I'm just going to get a dryer and I actually probably should look at this brand. So maybe I can get the same brand of dryer that I have that my washer is. So anyway, I said all that to say that's my plan for today after work, coming back, get Savannah and then because she wants to go to the mall as well. So yeah washer and dryer if you guys remember when i did get this because my old washer which was just like that a front loader it just stopped working i hate front loaders i will never get them again and that's just my personal opinion on it if you guys have them and they work fine for you great but it's a no-go for me so anyway the dryer like i said it still works And it's spinning but there's no heat coming out so I got to get rid of this today and they do pick up your old one and take it with them so yeah let's see hot point <laughs> okay well I guess I'll look for a hot point dryer just so I can I don't know match be kind of the same the only thing that sucks though which I totally get you have to pay them to take the old dryer with you just like when I got my washer I'm like what I'm gonna do with that old washer sitting here take it with you so I had to pay for them to do that and I don't think I don't remember it's been that long um, I know I had to pay to pay a delivery fee but I don't know if I had to pay a delivery fee and a pickup fee on top of that I think it could have been combined I don't know but We'll see. So, yeah, I got to get a new dryer today, you guys, and they probably won't be able to deliver it until, like, next week. So, I'm going to have to go to the laundromat to dry my clothes. <laughs> so, we are in Sears. The mall is not open today, but their delivery is not going to be until September. So, I'm just going to go to Home Depot, and Savannah's with me. Try not to touch anything. Hi! Try not to touch anything and I get so dizzy on these escalators. I'm not doing that. Yeah, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and jump over. So we're back home now and I didn't find anything at Sears. Well, actually I take that back. I did find something at Sears that was less expensive. However, because the whole shutdown and everything, their delivery date were not going to be until September. And I didn't want to wait another month until, you know, I can get a dryer delivered. So I went to Home Depot and the one that I wanted to get was out of stock. 
and then he was looking at a list and he showed me what they had available to actually deliver to people's houses and so I got that one and I thought I was gonna have to wait till like next week or something like that he said Saturday and then he's in the computer and he said oh actually your area you can get it on Friday so Friday I'm gonna have a new dryer you guys I'm so excited oh and right now it was free delivery but I did have to pay $25 for them to take the old dryer away which I'm okay with that at least it's not like 50 or 75 dollars or something like that so i think i got a good deal so savannah is into this look right here and she, <laughs> she bought these super tall boot shoes type things how do you like them i love them they look they look way better than, the, than i thought from the picture i am obsessed she had just put them on, and the minute I got out, <laughs> be careful, she tripped a little no, bit. No, I didn't fall. I almost did. No, you did not fall. I said you I tripped just, a little bit. Like little, what is it called? Like little stumble. Oh and my they're gosh. They're heavy. They're filled. I'm going to feel, Savannah. They are pretty light. I, don't do that. I'm going to be wearing them for the rest of the day. It's giving me anxiety seeing her in these shoes. And we're watching Count of Monte Cristo, one of my top five faves. What y'all know about this? <laughs> this is back in the day. And this one is loving it. She thinks she was born in them days. All right, good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday today. I believe today is Wednesday, yes. And I actually have a doctor's appointment before work today I'm going in a little bit later so I'm gonna do that go to work and then um, I'm actually gonna be to work a little bit longer today <clears throat> and then yeah come home and I don't know live life <laughs> okay you guys probably can't see it that well but this bug is outside but if this was inside I think I would freak out let me try to get it from this side no, it's not a spider. It would not be this close. That is so weird. Ew, I'm creeped out. And look how slow it's moving, Savannah. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday. And my laundry room is usually always a mess because it's tiny. And so anyway, I get my dryer today. So I'm just going to move everything out the way. As you see, I keep my bathroom cleaner here because I have nowhere else to keep it. So that's going to be gone. So I'm going to clean everything out of the way so they can have room and prepare. I still have to break this box down and throw it away. This is the box that my TV came in. And then I had to get Savannah a mount for her wall because the TV that was in the living room, um, she wanted it on the wall. So yeah, right now that's there and it's off to the side and I just keep passing by it, ignoring it. All right, so everything is now clear that way they can come get the old dryer take it out through the garage and put the new one in and if you're wondering why the floor is like partial done it's because before i did the one in the kitchen this is what my tile looked like in the kitchen and in both bathrooms horrible right this is the tile that came with the house this is like what is it called vinyl or linoleum that they lay down in you know all houses for cheaper flooring anyway but I do have hardwood there what was I saying anyway I know that looks bad whatever but I had just wanted to lay down flooring just to practice to see how it will work in my kitchen make sure it would stay down make sure I knew what I was doing so I did like a practice run right here and I just kept it so I really don't care about decorating the laundry room because it's just that a laundry room and it's small and tiny. It would be different if I had like a huge laundry room and had like a sink and a space to fold my clothes. Maybe one day, but not today. So for now, it's whatever, man. But can't wait to get rid of you. Oh, okay. Had to make sure it was empty. I don't know why it's always a habit for me to make sure that's clean. So, all right, I'm ready for you to go. Good morning, now that you guys can actually see me. So the delivery time is between 11 and 3. 
yeah, <laughs> a four hour window. It's so it's between 11 and three, but they did say if they come sooner, they would give me a call before they come. In addition to that, 30 minutes before they come, they're gonna give a call to let me know they're on their way. So it's only 9.30 now, but that's the reason why I went ahead and got dressed just in case, you know, they call me. That's Cheyenne, but she never wants to be seen on camera, huh, Cheyenne? Yes. She said yes. Anyway, so I'm excited about that. I have my phone next to me waiting for them to call and tell me we are on our way. And I started a load of laundry. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. It's just a dryer, but I'm so excited because I'm so sick of that old dryer. Aren't you? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I don't know if I showed you guys this, but I finally got my mask in from shop disney and look at this y'all so they all say large but this looks like for a kid this side is just look how the ear loops are it's like this side is bigger than this side and i don't know it's just i don't like how it's made i'm not happy with it maybe if i actually buy ones in the park i don't know what do you guys think um yeah i mean it's cute don't get me wrong but when i put it on so i put it on and it's so tight around my ears and i feel like it's squeezing where my nose and underneath my chin so i don't know they all say large which yeah I don't know they're they're just not comfortable at all and that's just my opinion have you guys got any of the masks from the shop Disney app what do you think um, yeah let me know but this is definitely not large this is meant for a kid this is tiny okay so I just got off the phone with shop Disney and they said that the majority of their calls are about these masks here so they're gonna send extra large because this one is clearly a small for a little kid and then check this out you guys okay I don't know if you can tell well yes you can see how it is it's like larger over here and then it's smaller so these were very poorly made and like I said even though it says large there's no way that I'm going out wearing this because look so they're gonna send extra large and free of charge I don't have to pay anything else and they actually told me because of COVID which I understand they are not asking for this back so he said to do with it what I will so I know I don't know I'm I may do a giveaway um, because these are clearly made for kids you guys if you you know if there's an adult who has a small face then maybe they can take it I don't know but I may or may not do a giveaway or I will find someone that I know to give these to their kids because this is you you can't wear this as an adult it, it's not very comfortable at all they called me for my washer they are on their way he said about 25 minutes so not my washer my dryer i'm so excited see it's the little things you guys i told you it doesn't take much to make me happy i get excited over the smallest thing so i'm excited because they're on their way they are here Look how nasty it is underneath the dryer, you guys. Oh my gosh, I did not know it was that bad. But they're taking the old dryer away. I'm so excited. All right, you guys, here is the dryer. I need to move it over a little bit because I put my laundry baskets right there. But this is it. And he said to let it run the full cycle just because. So that's what I'm going to do. So the guy who delivered it, he was like really cute and he was kind of flirting. And he asked me, he said, you have any questions? And I didn't see a ring on his finger. So I should have said, are you single? I'm not that bold. I don't do stuff like that. So anyway, I'm happy because we have a dryer now, a working dryer. Okay. So the laundry room is back to looking a mess, whatever. And I did sweep and mop behind there in case you guys saw all that gunk and everything that was behind there I did take care of that so anyway I am just letting it go through the cycle like he said and the exciting thing is y'all there's heat it's hot in there I'm so excited and still have to learn how to use it but it's not that hard and then if you want timed automatic dry or whatever and then 
press on and I am always going to keep this signal on because I like to know when my laundry gets done so that will always stay on on and then I get to see or I get to hear what it sounds like when it's done and I am going to pull this off because I just am and I think I need two hands so hold on all right, you guys, first load is officially in the dryer. You guys probably think I'm crazy thinking it's just a dryer. Okay, yes, I know that, but when something breaks and you get it fixed, it's just the most exciting thing. And I already told you guys, it doesn't take much to make me happy and it doesn't take much to entertain me. So I'm happy and entertained today. Hey everyone, it is Sunday and it is so hot out. It's about two o'clock and we are about to go to the store we are out of water I know we have water in the faucet but I'm bougie when it comes to water and I don't do sink water <laughs> yeah um, it just has a really different taste to me it's disgusting it's nasty and I won't drink Dasani because Dasani is not real water number one number two I will not drink what is that arrowhead water because arrowhead tastes like sink water to me it's disgusting so call me bougie call me whatever I don't care I do not drink sink water so we're out of water gotta go get water and Shine's birthday is actually on Wednesday she's going she's going to be 24 you guys yes I have a 24 year old almost 24 year old um, I'm 47 so no I didn't have her when I was in my teens like everyone always asks me oh you must have been really young when you had her I was 23 so anyway I'm gonna get her a birthday present and she it's funny how when your kids grow up you can see how they're growing up because instead of asking for I don't know what teenagers or young kids ask for because she is moving out soon so she's asking for things for her house like a waffle maker help me buy this plates cups things like that I'm like I can do that so I'm actually gonna just get her some things for her apartment and yeah um, she's actually going to do my hair in twist so yeah you guys as soon as Savannah gets in the car we will get going this is a rare moment that I get all three of my children in the house. Tariq is here. Say hi, Tariq. Hi, Tariq. I haven't seen you since your wedding. No, yes, you have. What are you talking about? I hey. haven't vlogged you since the, your wedding. Uh, so they haven't seen And they probably can't see you now because the light's behind you. And I'm black. But, and he's black. Okay. You and but everybody. all three of my children are in one space. Good morning. It's still morning. And yes, my look has changed. Cheyenne did my hair. It's in twist. So yeah, like Edna says, free is my favorite and I'm not going to a shop right now. I don't even know shops are open anymore, whatever. So yeah, my hair is twisted for now. We are going to go get a few things. I know I put this on my Instagram story, but I just wanted to show you guys. So I check my mail maybe once a week or once every other week. I check it just when I know my bills are coming, but I just don't check my mail often because number one, it's down the street and I'm lazy. And oh, that's two reasons. Number one, it's down the street, like five houses down. Number two, I'm lazy. So anyway, I don't check my mail often at all. So usually when I get it, it's full and I have to, you know, pull a lot of stuff out of it, which is mainly junk mail. So Edna actually texted me and she was like, check your mail lately or did she get anything in the mail lately with the eyes that are like and so I actually had Savannah go check it I've told her hold on and so if you guys are following me on Instagram if you're not following me on Instagram the show of life anyway I posted about a mask that I seen and I said if anyone could make me this I'll pay you Edna sent this to me let me show you guys <laughs> look at this I absolutely love it it's the Grinch with the mask on and it has like little germs and it says ew people I love it I'm gonna actually wear it out today I did wash it and everything uh, so the only thing I'm gonna bring another mask because let me I can take this off while I talk to you guys I'm gonna bring another mask because when I have it on actually it pulls at my ears and I don't think I'll be able to have it on all day on my ears because of this and that's it's not a complaint I'm just saying I need to get the thing that goes on the back of the neck 
that way it makes it more comfortable but yeah I'm gonna wear this out today and it's gonna be funny to see all the looks and whatever that I get but yeah ill people I love this thank you again Edna I know I told you thank you a million times but thank you so much I this is this made my day actually I absolutely love this y'all yeah look at that so we are in the like car the wash and little... Savannah is singing. <laughs> no, no, not. Yes, she is. She's singing our Hamilton. Our Hamilton. Yeah, because it's ours, you know. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's what we're doing now. Go ahead. Go ahead, rap. Mm -mm -mm. It's in the cabinet battle, number one. She was rapping. Go ahead. No. We are at the Folsom Outlet, just Savannah and I, and it's super hot. Very hot. Like, really hot. Hot topic. Oh, Lord. Look at the shirt. See that Marilyn Manson shirt? Shoe from any type of liquid, okay? Just brush this down a little bit. All right, go ahead and put that next to your other shoe. You tell me if it works. Oh, she pulled the camera out on me. Whoa. So Savannah's getting it. <laughs> she was clean. You like it? Yeah. All right, put the other one up here. <laughs> if you guys are at right, the so Folsom Outlets, YouTube, come though, to okay? this <laughs> spot right here to get your <laughs> shoes clean. <laughs> so this is Isaiah. I'm out here with Refresh. They call me Refresh Day. We got the best cleaner. Suede, leather, wool, yeah, nylon, new bug, cloth, your hat, your car interior. What if it get dirty? We got it to clean it. Come you holler at us. Around. We at Folsom. Right around. here at the outlets, right in front of foot, Famous Footwear. Then we in Arden, right in front of Champ. Come holler at us, we're here every day. We soon to come to Vacaville Outlets too, so let us know. Thank you guys for your time. You guys hear them? Check them out. So at the outlets, Savannah got this for me. It's called Paradise, Tempting Paradise by Sophia Vergara. And it smells really good. And Savannah got herself a weighted blanket. I'm gonna steal it. Mm -hmm. 